Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping in today to see what I am up to. What I have today is my dossier box, and I actually have a second box. I have two perfumes this month. A little bit about dossier, I am a dossier affiliate and so happy and proud to be part of the team at dossier. Dossier is a perfume company that uh, makes perfume. Okay, that's the obvious, but they make perfume inspired by designer brands. Brands that are hundreds of dollars, you can get for $29, $39, $49 on Dossier. They're, I would say they're pretty spot on from what I have received so far. Um, I can't tell the difference. Now, if you were Dolce & Gabbana and you compared, is there a difference by, uh, you know, someone's scent that knows exactly? Maybe, you know, that I don't know. I don't have those expensive brands to compare. But if you're so close that you can't tell the difference, I don't need some fancy bottle and fancy pricing when I can get the same scent because that's all that matters. And I think their bottles are nice looking to, to display. I have several out and obviously this is what the inside of the box looks like. I love this company. Holidays are coming. You need a gift. You can look, shop the $29 perfumes and from what I understand, they have like buy X and get, you know, great prices, good, like buy three, get discounts or get, you know, buy whatever, the, like BOGOs and all kinds of deals I've heard everyone saying so far. So I'm excited for that. Um, this first one is uh, right here. So you get a little card that has been sprayed with the perfume. So you can get a little, um, because it has to dry. I mean, you can, until you spray it on your own skin, because everybody's oils are different, you're not going to get the true scent. So this one is called Floriental Brown Sugar, right here. And this is inspired by Eve, Eve, Eve. Oh my God, YSL, I cannot say that. Uh, Mon Pari Eau de Parfum. Uh, let's see, top notes, bergamot, raspberry, and pear. Middle notes, jasmine, orange, blossom, and brown sugar. Base notes are patchouli, amber, and vanilla. That smells so good. And this is what the packaging of the bottle looks like. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces, 50 ml. So it's a big bottle and this is glass and it's heavy. I love the magnetic top. And this looks just as nice sitting on your bureau or on a tray. I have it on top of my jewelry box of all my perfumes and love. Mm, that smells so pretty. So happy to have that. And then the second box right here is uh, Carolina Herrera Good Girl Eau de Parfum. And that smells so good. Top notes, almond and peach. Middle notes, orris, orange blossom, and tuberose. Base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa right here. And this is what this bottle looks like. And this is Floriental Almond. You know, same size bottle. I think these were the $29 um, bottles, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, that smells so pretty. So, you know, same magnetic top, all that good stuff. So I, you know, my good fortune is I like to turn around and make that someone else's good fortune. So I have two perfumes here. Could I keep both of these? Absolutely. Am I going to? No. Well, what I'm going to do, normally I pick one for me and I pick another scent and use it as a giveaway. But what I'm going to, these are, I both, I like both of these equally. I don't like one more than the other from what I have already um, smelled prior to me getting these sent to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway of one of these perfumes. So either the YSL Mon Pari Eau de Parfum or the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Eau de Parfum. I am going to let one winner, because it's only one winner, choose which one they would like. And then I'll keep the one that they don't choose. Because like I said, I think they're both equally liked by me. But if you have a preference as to which one you would like to win, um, in your comment. We're going to use the word 
Hmm. What can we autumn? Because we're in the in autumn. It's not quite fall. It's summer's over. So we're in autumn here in my state of Pennsylvania. So that's the key word that you have to use in your comment, but also in your comment, which one, if you win, would you like? And I'm going to hold you to it. So if you choose, you know, that you want to win the y YSL perfume, and then when you win, you say, no, I want to win the other one. Mm, we're not going to do that. So think about which one you want. Use the word autumn in your comment. I've said this a million times and I still have people doing it. Use autumn in a sentence, not just like autumn, YSL. You're going to be just excluded. I'm sorry, because you're just giving it away to everyone. Um, what the keyword is, let them watch the video like you did. I think that's the fairest way. My giveaways are open to everyone. You're not excluded regardless of where you live. I will briefly explain. I am in the United States. I would say anywhere, depending on the month, subscribers, if people come and go, 75 to 85% of my subscribers and viewers are in the United States. And the other 15, maybe 20%, depending on, um, you know, because it does change month to month or every couple months it changes, are in other countries. I might have 2% here, 5% there, whatever, India, Germany. Uh, the Netherlands, Australia, Canada, I have people watching in some of the islands and that all shows up in your analytics. So if you don't, there's only 1% of people, let's say India, there's only 1% of my viewers from India and 85% are from the United States. Your odds are less, but I have had people win that are not in the United States. I haven't had anybody win from India, but I've had couple Canadians win, which is wonderful. I've had people, I had one winner in Australia. That was a little expensive, but I budget for that if I do have an international winner, especially Australia, because that's kind of far. Um, and I've had people win in Eastern Europe. So, you know, I've had maybe a half a dozen or so winners that have been non-United States. I had one winner that won. She did not live in the U.S., but she had a United States uh, mailing address because she had family living here so I was able to ship to her family and then when they did their shipment to her because they shipped to her once a month every other month a package care package they included my giveaway in her care package and she was able to get it um, I do not ship and that was when I was US doing US only but now she could enter on her own because I think she was in the Philippines if I'm not mistaken not the Philippines she was somewhere that was non-US, non U was she in the Philippines? She might've been in the Philippines, but now she could enter herself because I do, sh will ship. If you do not receive United States mail in your country, I have to ship it through the US post office. If it's not, if you can't receive mail in your country or your area, please don't enter the giveaway because you're not gonna be able to get it. Also be mindful. If you live outside of the United States and you win, you could have an import tax. I have zero control over that. Um, let's say you win a medium sized mystery box and they tariff it. They put a tax on it because it's coming into your country of $40, $60, something like that, $70. I have heard of that happening. It has not happened to me yet, but I've heard it through other YouTubers. Are you willing to pay that in order to get the box? If you're not, please don't enter the giveaway. Um, it breaks my heart to hear and to see people, I never win anything. Once again, I didn't win. I'm going to start deleting those comments. I had this problem in the past with a few viewers that were always very negative because they didn't win. And I would try like, please, you know, refrain from posting that, um, you know, the person who won could possibly see your comment and that's not fair to the person who wins. And I'm starting to see that again. Now, I don't know if it's the same person. They weren't blocked, but I don't see them posting anymore, commenting. So maybe they switched names and now they're starting to come back with, like, and now I never win anything. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's not my problem that you don't win. Um, I use a comment picker. That's why I don't choose the winners. I don't want any parts of it. I don't want anybody coming back to me saying anything. It's randomly chosen and that's the way it is. The only part of editing that I do is pop in 
the winner is and the rest of the video stays as it was originally filmed. Um, but like I said, I'm going to start deleting the negative comments. Uh, I didn't win. I never win anything. You know, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to start deleting them. And if it's continual, that person will be blocked. I'm not a bad, that's negativity for me. And I think it's very unfair to the person who won. And it's unfair to me as the person doing the giveaway. Plain and simple. So I, I just don't find it necessary. If you, if you have nothing to say, say nothing. I would rather you not comment at all or just be happy that, that this person won and just say congratulations like everybody else. So autumn is the keyword. Tell me which one you would like to win if your name is chosen, the Carolina Herrera or the YSL perfume and one of them will come out to one of you. Thank you all for watching this video. Good luck to everyone who enters, and I don't have my calendar here uh, in front of me, so in the description box will be when the giveaway ends, so make sure you read that, and um, I might have some changes in November, so I'm not sure when this video will air, but all that will be in my description box, so good luck to everyone, and I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye now.